guys welcome to today's video guys welcome to the last video of 2022 y'all it's like bittersweet because i so need a break like your girl has been putting out videos three videos a week for the past two years i do it every single year i like to take a little week or maybe like two week break right after you know the christmas holidays just to reset regroup now we don't have a whole lot to share i kind of wasn't even going to do this video but i'm like you know what i do have a few favorites let me just share it with them so the first thing i want to share with you is a bag and it's my dior book tote y'all i'm obsessed <laughs> with this bag this is my first book tote my first book tote ever and i bought it because i'm a big bag girl okay i'm from the old school era I love me a big bag because I like to have everything with me. The kitchen sink, okay, period. I feel like if I don't have it, I'm gonna need it. And I don't wanna be stuck out in the world without having what I need, you know what I mean? And I wanna be able to carry it in a very chic way. So I got this bag over the summer. I believe this is the summer or spring summer or maybe cruise collection. I'm not sure what collection it is, y'all, but it's no longer, this print is no longer in stores right now. Now, I was struggling between this one, which is the navy background, and a cream background with the same motif, but just like a white or cream background. I'm so glad, like you guys don't even understand how glad I am I got this one because of my cost per wear. One, the other one, the white background one was really beautiful, but it's just strictly spring summer for me. This navy, and obviously, like you guys know I love blue, okay? like. The navy and this color blue, like I saw it and it had my heart. But I'm so glad I chose it, other than the fact that I love blue, but because I'm able to wear it in the spring, summer, fall, and the winter. I'm probably not gonna wear it after December. I'm definitely gonna retire her because it's getting really, really cold right now. And I feel like it's not, it's not appropriate for me to wear in the super duper cold, but it's snowing and you know, yada, yada because of all the florals but i was able to wear this in the fall y'all and i was getting my life every time each and every time i wear this bag i get a compliment people always compliment on how beautiful this bag is i mean guys it's gorgeous it's so super beautiful i'm obsessed with it it's huge it's the largest one i can fit everything i possibly want in this bag it's very chic I love wearing it with blazers or sweaters or anything chunky. It doesn't matter. This goes with everything. And this has definitely been an obsession in December because before it got super cold, it was really nice out. Not really nice, but it was like 60s, 50s. And I was able to wear this with a scarf and a blazer and keep it pushing. Now, y'all, it's like strictly cold weather. It's mink weather. It's fur weather. That's what it is right now. So I'm not going to be wearing this bag, but I love, I'm so obsessed with this bag, y'all. So it's my Dior book tote. Something else that's pretty random that I've been obsessed with in the month of December that's not new, but I've just been enjoying it so much is my Marshmallow Fireside Wallflower Refill, y'all. I just had to bring one to show y'all. The scent of Marshmallow Fireside, I mean, it just gets me all the time. I have the candles, but honestly, y'all, I don't burn the candles as much. I try to burn them in moderation because of the chemicals that's inside of them so for me i love the um essential oils over the candles i burn the candles for a vibe not really for the scent because like i said i don't burn them that often but these these i never i'm never out of these like ever like these are freaking amazing and the scent of marshmallow fireside in my kitchen has just been i mean it's so pleasant it's so sweet but it has like a burning like fire toasty background it just smells like toasted marshmallows if you love that scent you will absolutely love this and like i said the wallflowers the oils are much more potent they last so long in scent i changed this out maybe every two weeks or so y'all these are incredible and the scent like i said of marshmallow fireside in december has just been a whole vibe i also love winter winter is another one of my favorite ones as well but it's just a marshmallow fireside in the kitchen that has had me just like loving being in the kitchen and cooking and baking. This smells incredible, okay? So the Marshmallow Fireside Wallflower by Bath & Body Works. Now let's get on to some, the one beauty item that we have here and it's my lipstick and I'm wearing it right now. The Gwen Stefani lipstick, y'all. I'm obsessed. 
the consistency, the cupcake smell, the color. I mean, I just love this lipstick so much, y'all. It feels so good on my lips. The only thing, and I think I told y'all this before, it's not transfer proof. So it's going to get on your straw. It's going to get on your glass. It's going to get on whatever you kiss or touch or whatever it touches. But it lasts all day, okay? It lasts all day on the lips. It feels comfortable. It doesn't get drying. It looks the same way 12 hours later that it looked when you first put it on. And that's no joke. Like when I'm going out and we're going to be out all day if I'm shopping or doing whatever, I'm putting this lipstick on and it's on all day. I do not have to reapply. I am obsessed with this lipstick. The color is Original Recipe. And this is what it looks like. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. And like I said, Kiko Beauty is the one that put me on to Gwen Stefani lipsticks, period. Because honestly, I wasn't like, it just, so many celebrities come out with brands and, you know, sometimes they just go over my head. But she raved about it so much that I had to look into it and i got this one not the you know the regular lipstick i got the lip um the liquid lipstick because i just love how these are for me i just prefer these better than the lipstick sometimes and i'm hooked i'm obsessed i will never turn back this is amazing and the color from my complexion like it's a really nice blue base kind of purpley blue based red that fits my complexion perfectly but it's still bright you know what i mean i love it Bay loves it I'm obsessed, okay? Original recipe by Gwen Stefani. Now, skin potion. I've been speaking about skin potion so many times within December, y'all, and for good reason, I'm obsessed, okay? Kama Sutra, the triple butter and the body oil. I told y'all before, this body oil is like a perfume oil. It smells like perfume, like you're rubbing perfume all over your skin. If you love the scent of Delina Exclusive, okay? I told y'all this before. Delina Exclusive has that sweet, creamy, woody, rosy scent that I am obsessed with, okay? I will always have that fragrance. This right here is like her older sister. You can wear this and someone's gonna think you're wearing Delina Exclusive. Now layer it with Delina Exclusive. Get your life. But here's the thing, y'all. It smells like it, but this is a chameleon. This pairs with so many fragrances. It smells like Delina Exclusive, of course, because it has the rose and the oud, but this also has mangoes. It has lychee. My mouth is literally watering right now from smelling it. Mangoes and lychee and so many juicy fruits along with Bulgarian rose, and I believe there's Turkish rose in here, along with the oud. Y'all, this scent is amazing. If you see this on Skin Potion, get it and you can save 10% with my code, um, AI the Great. Y'all need this. It is beautiful, the consistency of the oil, everything about it is just everything to me. I absolutely love it. So Kama Sutra, the body butter and the body oil in the month of December has had me in a choke hold, okay? And I feel like Ray's not letting up. Like, Cookie Butter, Royal Sandalwood, like, all of them are so incredible. I'm telling y'all. Now, I don't have that many fragrances on my list because I've kind of been wearing a lot of the same fragrances, y'all. I've been enjoying these fragrances. I mean, obviously, I've worn more. But these, one, two, three, four, five, have been the ones that had me in a choco, okay? So the first one I want to share with you is by YSL. And this is the Libre Le Parfum. Y'all, y'all know I just got this, right? Y'all know I just got this. Look at my dent. Do y'all see that? Y'all, when I tell y'all I love something, listen to me when I tell y'all. Look at this dent. It is insane. It's like I'm drinking the fragrance. Y'all, this right here is so freaking beautiful. The orange blossom the spiciness and honestly the saffron note in here it grounds everything together and it makes it smell a little bit more elevated than the original and the intense but it's not the star of the show like i can't really pinpoint what the star of the show is in this fragrance because all around it just smells amazing i'm obsessed i got this little bottle and i feel like the next time i'm going to get the large bottle or i may get the little bottle again because it is really cute 
And because I have so many fragrances, I really don't need the large bottle, but I'm obsessed, okay? I am obsessed with this, y'all. It's so freaking beautiful. YSLA Parfum. She got a hold on the neck and she ain't let go. <laughs> Another one, Abracadabra by Kriegler. I'm trying so hard to put this down because y'all, the price increase of this fragrance is ridiculous, okay? I mean, listen, I spent a lot of money on a lot of things, but there's a cap that I have with fragrances. This fragrance is now $745. It's either $725, $35, or $45. It is seven too much, okay? Listen, when I got this fragrance, it was $515 or $5 something, and that's still really, really expensive. Bay bought it for me. He felt like I needed it, you know. Would I have spent $500 and something dollars on this? I would have because it's so good, y'all. But seven something, like that's damn near a thousand dollars, y'all. Like this is insane. But when I tell you the scent is freaking incredible. Every time, hear me out. Every time I wear this fragrance, I get compliments. Bay loves this fragrance on me. Let me tell y'all something about his nose. He likes fragrances that smell like this. Kind of powdery, kind of floral, kind of aldehydic. He likes these scents. The gourmand scents, the ones that smell like bakery and cake and food, he likes them, but not really. <laughs> these are the ones that he prefers on me. And also, Dom Rosa, another one of his favorites on me. Actually, all the ones that I'm speaking about today are some of his favorites on me. This one, y'all, he said that if I don't get it, he's gonna get it for me because like, he loves it that much. And like I said, every time I wear it, I get complimented. This fragrance is amazing. Now, something that it smells like, if you don't wanna spend this much money on a fragrance, it's reminiscent, but not really, but it's reminiscent of Tom Ford's Metallique. And I believe it's the aldehydes and that powdery nature. You're gonna get that metallic type of vibe, but this right here is its own beauty, y'all. Very, 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 very pricey. Okay, but I will say it is worth it because it lasts on my skin. I don't have any performance issues and I get compliments. So, I mean, that's a win-win for me. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, y'all. Abracadabra by Kriegler. Now, I done showed it to y'all. I'm gonna bring it back again. Dom Rosa by Laquise Imagineers. This is my dent in Dom Rosa. This is a beautiful, rosy champagne effervescent scent. I mean, honestly, y'all, this smells so freaking good. I have a pack with myself. I made a pack with myself that in January, I'm not gonna pick this up. I'm gonna try. I'm not making promises, but I am gonna try to give this a break because I don't wanna run through them. And I've been smelling them literally from like November, to December, like this is so beautiful, y'all. Another one, highly complimented scent, beautiful fragrance. Like I said, it's rosy, it's woody, it's effervescent, it's champagne-y, it opens up with champagne, it smells incredible. I love it. If <laughs> you can catch it in stock on soavantgarde.com, you can save 20% using my discount code, the great 20 Whenever it's in stock, I put it in my community tab and also on Instagram, and I let y'all know, run. Do not walk, because this one goes very, very quickly, and I don't think they restock it that much, because, I mean, this is an, it's an independent brand. I'm not sure if this company is considered independent, but they're not mass producing a bunch of fragrances like that, so they're not gonna have like hundreds in stock at one time, you know what I mean? So when you see it, y'all, you just have to get it, because, this one is incredible. Love Dom Rosa. Another one. Blanche Bet. Blanche Bet. I can't listen. If y'all watched that video with me and Babe, where um he did we did the get his favorite fragrances on me, y'all. First of all, I cannot say Tiziana Terenzi without not thinking Tizzy. If you ain't got no Tizzy, I can't say Blanche Bet without Blanche Bet. Blanche bet y'all it was so fun but this one right here is a milky creamy lectonic fragrance that smells like coconut and almond that's how I describe it and that's just what it is for me 
milky, creamy, like tonic, beautiful fragrance that smells like it has a creamy freaking coconut. It's so beautiful. I believe there's tuberose in here as well. Y'all, this is just incredible, okay? I'm feeling the queens, all right? Bloody Woods, I'm gonna speak about that some more in 2023 because that one is another beautiful fragrance. It smells like a sweet dessert wine, like a port wine, but you definitely smell the wine. So if you're not into boozy wine fragrances, then that one may not be for you because you definitely smell the wine. But this one right here, y'all, I feel like it is an easy, safe blind buy. I don't see someone who cannot love this. This is freaking beautiful. Now, although I'm obsessed with Dom Rosa, it has rose and champagne and you smell it. A lot of people don't like rose and a lot of people don't want to smell champagne in their fragrances. This right here, it's creamy. It's kind of milky, but not in a stomach sickening type of way because I've smelled some milky fragrances that has made me feel sick. Not this one right here. If you love almond, if you love coconut, and you can wear this all year round, y'all. I've worn this on super cold days and it's pushed through the cold. And I will be wearing this on super hot days as well. Blanche Bet by Laquise Imagineer. Now, the last fragrance that has had me in a chokehold all December is by Mind Games. And this is Jadoub, Jadoub. Love this, y'all, so much. Every fragrance, on today's list, well, the Laquise isn't that pricey, but this is another one that's kind of up there. And it's sold on soulvanguard.com. You can buy it in Neiman Marcus, but you can't save 20% um, with this. This is just a splurge, y'all. But this is incredible, beautiful. This is a pomegranate fragrance. It's leathery, but honestly, the leather is not leathering. <laughs> the leather is there to ground the fragrance, but it doesn't smell like a harsh, leathery scent. It's pomegranate, it's woody. Like I said, the leather grounds the fragrance. It makes it smell round and you smell it, it projects. It lasts on my skin. It's an extra day parfum. I told y'all before, it kind of gives me a less sweet Mon Paris, like a grown up rich Mon Paris, less sweet. So I feel like if you like that scent profile, you will love this because this is taking it to another level in another realm. You know what I mean? Like it's so gorgeous y'all. Oh, love this so much. Jadoub by Mind Games. Now, my last favorite of this month, of the whole entire year, of my whole entire YouTube career, is you guys, my subbies, my friends, my fragrance family. I love y'all so much. I've connected with you guys on other levels. I love y'all so much for supporting my channel, supporting me, whatever I do. Like you guys comment, you like, you subscribe, you're on my Instagram, you're interacting with me over there. I love y'all so much and I thank you. I have a giveaway. It's a small giveaway, nothing crazy, but I wanna give away an Electimus Trajan travel set. This is what the packaging looks like. It's so gorgeous, y'all. This is the side. This is the back. And here we have the fragrance. So you get three travel sizes and the um, the atomizer. Let me show you. The atomizer case. It's really hard to get out, y'all. But this is what it looks like. It's like a rubbery kind of um, textured um, <laughs> plaque on the side. And then it's gold here. Excuse the fingerprints. And then the other side is that rubbery type of ribbed plaque, whatever you want to call it. Then it has the Electimus logo here. It's a magnetic cap. So that's what it is. And let me show you how you put in the fragrance. So this one, you guys are going to get one that's wrapped up. Not this. This is mine. But I just want to show y'all. So you stick it in here. and it's super taut and that's it. And like I said, this is Trajan. So if you guys don't know what Trajan smells like, Trajan smells like a very, very citrusy, very sweet citrus Baccarat Rouge by 40. So if you love the scent profile of Baccarat Rouge, I feel like you'll love this. Um, even if you don't love Baccarat Rouge, you may love this as well because it smells like that, but just more sweet and more citrus. Beautiful, y'all. I'm obsessed with this scent. So this is what it looks like. Again, 
it's like it closes like that it opens like so and you have three i believe these are how many mils three 10 mils so you get 30 mils of product so it's basically like a whole fragrance so three 10 mils and the case so we have the Trajan, like I said, and it's going to be wrapped in a cellophane. So y'all can bust y'all own cellophane open, okay? And we have Mercurial Cashmere. Now, this scent, let me see the notes on here. I don't have the notes, but here's the thing. If you're familiar with this scent and you want to win this, <laughs> then stay tuned for the rules. But, um, because I don't have any notes. Just know that I love this scent. Now, I don't love it on me because to me, it smells a little masculine. It's a unisex scent, but I love it on Bay, and it's one of his favorite fragrances. So if you're a man and you want to get this, a woman can get this because I know women who wear it. I believe um, Nika Marks has this and she wears it and she loves it. And some of my subbies, I think it's, I'm not sure if it's Sincerely or Mona that have Mercurial Cashmere that love it. So women wear this, y'all. On my skin, it kind of leans more masculine, in my opinion, on me. So Bay has it, and it's super sexy on him, y'all. So sexy. It's more like a sweet, like, woody cashmere. It smells like you're wrapped in a cashmere blanket on a cold winter's day. Like, it's so sexy. I love it, but just not for me. So if you want to win Mercurial Cashmere... Or Trajan, and there's one more. This is the Discovery Set. Now, the Discovery Set does not come with plastic. I didn't open it. That's just how it comes. So if you're interested in Electimus and you haven't had a chance to try any of the fragrances, then this is how you try it. So you're going to get 20. Let me see how many mLs. 8 mLs. So you're going to get 28 mL bottles of all the fragrances from Electimus. So you're gonna get Mercurial Cashmere, you're gonna get um, Trajan, you're gonna get Imperium, all of my favorites, and even ones that I've never tried before. So like I said, this is the actual kit that you'll win. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the cellophane, and then you have this little like welcome card here. Oh, with all the fragrance notes, with all the fragrances and the notes. So that's a cute little thing for you guys. So I have three things to give away and there'll be three winners. So the travel set for Trajan, the travel set for Mercurial Cashmere, and the discovery set. I'm sorry guys, I know a lot of you don't like hearing this, but you must have Instagram, okay? In order to qualify to win any of these giveaways, you must have Instagram. Comment below and just let me know what's your favorite thing about my channel. <laughs> and um, let me know which one you want to win, whether it's the Discovery Set, Trajan, or um, uh, Mercurial Cashmere. And please don't say you don't care. You have to be specific in which one you want to win. And then the other part of the rules is that you have to be following the Fragrance Group and also So Avant Garde. And leave a comment on the Fragrance Group and So Avant Garde's last picture and just tell them what you love most about AI the Great. So tag me what I love most about AI the Great's channel or her content or me, like, you know, whatever. Just let them know what you love most about me and my content and the winner will be chosen in about... Today's Thursday, when you're watching this, um, the winner will be chosen by Sunday. So I'll give you guys until Sunday, and then I'll go to the post office, not Monday, but Tuesday or Wednesday, okay? And I'll let you guys know. So make sure you have Instagram, because like I said, that's how we're going to communicate within DM. You're going to send me your P.O. Box info or your home info, your shipping info, whatever. And that's how we're going to play that. So let me know, guys, what you think about this video, what you think about my favorites. And let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out. But I'll see you in my next video. Peace.